All right, so now that we've finished our code, the next step is to send that code to the micro bits. You can see we have two here, one for me, one for Gracie. And then finally after that, it, uh, our last step in this process is to assemble our devices so that they become, they turn from micro bits into step counters. So the first thing we're going to do is take the code that we have uh, built in make code and we're going to send it to the devices. So to do that, just take our USB and plug in our micro bit. Once we do, you can see the light comes on. My computer can tell that it's got a micro bit plugged into it. And all I'm going to do is take my file that I have built and I'm going to send it to the micro bit. And we'll let my computer do that. While it's sending the file, you can see the light now is flashing. And when it turns solid, it means that the code has successfully been sent to this device. Now we can just unplug that. You see it doesn't get power. We do have these power packs though that come with the micro bit. And uh, they're quite cool because it actually ends up, it means that the, the micro bit can become portable, right? So we have our power source plugged in. This is something we can take on the road with us. So super important for us because if we're doing step counting out on Canada Day, we don't want to be taking a computer with us. So our code says that if we press A, we should see the number of steps that we've taken. And you can see when I press A, the LED screen says that we have only taken zero steps. If I was to start shaking this though, we can see now that it's registered three steps, three shakes. Now it's up to five, right? So what we're going to be doing is taking these step counters, sticking them on us somehow, maybe in our pockets, and um, allowing them to register the number of shakes that they receive and count the number of steps. So now you can see I'm up to steps, 11 steps. Now, when we want to start over again, we press A and B at the same time. And if we display our steps, we can see that we're back down to zero. Okay, so that's how the step counter works. Now, remember the added feature for our step counters was that they are able to um, measure the temperature outside for us too. And so we can see, oh boy, in my house here, it says it is 32 degrees, which is quite quite warm. Um, but, which is, we, we got that working as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, so this one is, is my step counter, uh, because remember, mine doesn't play the song, it's Gracie's for her, um, uh, for her to actually track her steps and to see how she's doing with her, um, her goal that she set for herself. Okay, so I'm going to set this one down. It's ready to go, minus maybe uh, attaching this with some elastics. I have some elastics here that we'll do at the end here.